Astros versus Angels, and the Angels are plus 115 on the money line. The Astros are minus 135. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Angels, getting a run and a half, are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they only lose this game by one, you win. Now the Astros, laying a run and a half, are plus minus, oh yeah, plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two runs. Now, Sandoval did not pitch against the Astros either last year or this year, and Raquiti pitched once against the Angels this year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 4-1. to one. The Astros are on a four-game winning streak, and they are 22-11 and 11 at home, and they are 9-5 and five as a team with Raquiti on the mound. Now, the Angels are on a one-game losing streak. They are 16-19 and 19 on the road, and they are 7-5 and five as a team with Sandoval on the mound. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Astros are 6-4 and four in their last 10 against the Angels. The favorite winning the game by two is 6-4. and four. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. That's just what the casino sets it at. And the over-under 8.5 is actually 5-5 five and five as well. The Astros are 15-6 and six in Houston. And Houston is 22-9 and nine in their last 31 games in Houston against the Angels. They've absolutely owned the Angels recently. I'm going to take the Astros with the money line, the Angels with the runs, and the over. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. As always, these are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.